Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is maximum difference between increasing elements. So let's start. The problem statement goes like this, that you are given a zero indexed array, as you can see here, of size n. You have to find out the maximum difference between two numbers. You have to make a pair and you have to find out the maximum difference between these two numbers. That is nums of j minus nums of i, such that nums of i should be less than nums of j okay and like you can say that you just have to like you just have to take two elements uh, as simple as possible and you just have to uh, uh you just have to find out that the maximum difference between them okay so how can you solve out solving out this problem the overall idea here is that you can do this in a very brute force way also like uh, take every pair possible because it's up, like 10, like up to 1000 only uh, so you can do that in a very brute force way also like find out every pair and then for every pair just check out this condition that nums of j should be greater than nums of i like the element on the right hand side should be greater on the left hand side okay what it means that that if you just take out any array if you make a pair the pair should be such that if you let's say take these two elements as a pair this is i and this is j the element on the right hand side this is this j should be larger than on the left hand side Okay, whatever pair you will form, the element that is on the right hand side should be larger and the element on the left hand side should be a smaller. That's it, the only condition for that. And you just have to find out the difference between them. Okay, that is, let's say 5 minus 1 for this example, that's equal to 4. You just have to maximize this difference. That's it. Now, how can you solve out this problem? I've told you that the brute force way, you can find out for every pair and just check out this whether this condition is fulfilling. And if the condition is fulfilling, uh, you just have to, uh, you, you, what you can do is that you can maximize it over all the pairs. The other case, uh, what you can do is that that is O of n square because you're finding out every pair, but you could have do done is in also O of n. Let's talk about that. What you could have done is that, let's take this example only. That is 7, 1, 5, and 4. No, your main objective is that I want to find out a difference between the minimum and the maximum. So what you have done is that for every element, if I want to maximize the difference, the difference, then for every element, I have to find out what is the, so if I'm assuming, if I'm assuming that this is the maximum possible, like this is the, this is the bigger one, because if I'm, let's say, forming a pair of this element with any element on the left side of it, so let's say if I want to make a pair of this and this, Okay, so if I have, let's say, a lot of numbers and let's say some numbers, if you want to make a pair of this number with any number on the left hand side, then what I'm assuming is that this should be the one that is bigger, this should be the maximum among both of them, that because that's the condition and the one that I'm choosing on the left hand side of this particular number should be the minimum one and because I want to maximize this difference, if I'm taking this to be the bigger one, what I am assuming is that the one that is on the left hand side should be as small as possible. Then only the difference become as big as possible. I hope you get the point. So till every point I have to find out what is the minimum till this current point. I hope you get the point because if I know what is the minimum till I am iterating from left to right. So every element that is on the left hand side till this element on the left hand side which is the minimum possible. I will take that particular element and take this as a larger one, find out a difference and just want to assume that that is the pair that I will be forming out. And if that taking that pair, I want to maximize the difference between every possible pair. I hope you get the point. That's the overall logic that you have to use here. Let me go to the code part now. So this is the minimum. I have initialized the one that is I have taken the first element as the minimum possible. Then moving from the second element that because I want to make two elements as a pair. Okay, starting on the second element. What I'm trying to do here is that the answer is initialized with minus one. Why? Because you have to assume that I want to find out any pair possible. If there is no particular pair that satisfies this condition, I have to print out minus one. So what we'll do is that I will find out that the answer is I want to maximize nums of i minus the minimum I have seen till now on the left hand side. And this is the minimum I've seen till now. And for every element, when I find out the difference, as I move forward, I will take that particular number nums of i and minimize it over all the numbers that I've seen till now. Because as I move towards the right hand side, all the numbers that I have iterated over becomes on the left hand side eventually. And thus I want to minimize all the numbers I'm iterating over and find out the minimum till that current i. 
and take the trend tie and whatever the minimum I've seen till now, take that as a particular pair and find out the answer. And thus I want to first find out the answer for that for every particular element. Just find out the answer. In the end, what you'll find out is that the answer is zero, which means that I cannot have an answer that is zero or negative. Why? Because if I have a negative answer, which eventually just means that I have taken this number as a smaller one. If, if let's say the minimum I have seen till now is let's say seven and the number I am on is five. If I subtract five minus seven, it turns out to be minus two, but that is wrong. Why? Because I'm assuming that this is always the larger one. If this is always the larger one, this number minus this number will always be a positive number. If it is equal, if it's like this is seven, this is seven, then only it will become zero. Then that is also not valid because I want that this number should be greater than this number. Okay. In that scenario also, it is invalid, but I've taken that also in, in encounter. So if I've seen that number, so if this number turns out to be zero, which means that I have found out two equal numbers, then also the answer is minus one. If I find out no other answer, the answer is still minus one. But if I find out the answer that is valid, that is fulfilling all the conditions, then, then only I'll print out the answer. Okay. That's the overall logic. And in this, as you can see that I have done only one for loop. And these variables are used to store the minimum till at any ith point. So this is just like constant space, but this is only one for loop. So the answer is done eventually like completely in O of N only. That's our logic and the code part for this particular problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the coin box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one taking coding and bye.